So good morning to everybody. Welcome to Nicole's Untold Gold. I am going to go pick out a piece from the warehouse to redo. And it is a brisk three degrees out this morning. But it's not windy, so it's not so bad. This is what happens when it's warm for a day. It all melts and then it refreezes. A whole bunch of ice skating rinks, middle of your yard. We're back. I don't want a really large piece today. Um, look at this, I have an opening back here from the pieces I've been doing from this area. It's either gonna be that dresser hmm, or this record player. All right, I decided on this dresser. Uh, this is the easier way. <laughs> Otherwise, playing around with pushing it every single direction to try and get it out of here is takes a long time. So we're gonna do it this way. So sometimes things don't go as planned. In other words, my tire on my dolly is flat and I already have the dresser halfway out of the building and I don't really wanna run the dolly across the yard to fill the tire, that is. I'm just gonna back the pickup up and haul it out that way because it's just one of those days, I guess. Okay, I got it in the pickup. Now it's time to go unload it. And then I gotta assess and see if there's any damage or anything that I want to fill before I sand it. Yeah, there might be something wrong with my wheel there. I was hoping that these poles were one screw, but of course they are two. So I actually think I'm going to fill in these holes and drill new ones. That's where we're at. Finding the missing one, it was inside one of the drawers. And so I'm trying to decide if I just painted these, if they would look good, or if I should just fill in all of these and drill and put new holes. I'm actually not totally sure what I'm going to do as far as a color on this, so I don't know. Either way, I have a little bit of time because this was in cold storage and it needs to warm up before I can paint it or start on it. Because I do not want... Toby, stop! Nope! Because I don't want the paint to not stick well and that's what happens when it's too cold. I'm gonna think on these and get some ideas for colors. Just another day in the life of a beagle. He is howling his ever-loving brains out. What is it? Pretty sure that he was just howling at a tree. Definitely was a tree. I decided that I am going to be leaving the old handles. I'm going to paint them and I'm going to keep them. So now I'm gonna get to sanding on this. It's just gotta be more or less scuff sanded so that paint sticks the best. painting. All right, we got the dresser cleaned. Um, I actually like cleaned it with a solution, so that's why it looks all weird and spotty. And I got my sprayer loaded. This is the primer that I swear by. It has to have that shellac base in it. Bin seals out all, no, oh, there's some paint. Seals out all stains. Let's do the prime coat. Primer coat's done! 
Time to dry. All right, so we got our white base now. I did the primer that you saw, and then I also did an actual white coat of paint. And now I'm actually, I've decided I'm gonna do something a little bit unique because you will quickly find out. I don't like doing the same things over and over again. I also like doing things that most people can't do because it, in my brain, adds more value to purchasing a piece. We are going to do an ombre-ish thing on the top. And then I will be applying some transfers and the feet will be painted a totally different color. going to now start the transfer. I will show you how I'm going to do it and I'm actually going to flip this on its back so it's easier. This top part is milk paint so the variations in color is what you get with milk paint. It's a lot more variated looking in the video than it is in person. Now we're going to keep it going. All right guys, this is the transfer that I will be using. So I cut them all out of the original layout that they had them in. I don't know which ones I'm going to use yet. I have not decided. So I'm just gonna play around with some different arrangements and then I will show you when I pick them. Okay guys, I got the first one on. I know I didn't show you it, but I just wanted to do the first one and now I'm gonna show you how I did the next one. Meanwhile, Toby is barking at absolutely nothing. Okay, so this little wooden stick is what they send with to press it down with. So I'm gonna peel the back off and then you slowly apply it as you rub the transfer off of the paper onto your dresser. You take the backing off. Don't mind Toby howling at nothing in the background. Then you line it up to where you're wanting it. Grab your stick. And you wanna really firmly push down on it with the edge of the stick here so that it adheres well. These little thin parts tend to be the most difficult. And then I will show you because I'm sure that it won't all perfectly stick. When you're peeling it off, you peel it off very slowly. And then if any of it sticks still to the transfer paper, whoop, like that, you just set the paper back down, give it a good couple passes, and then keep going. The key is to go really slow. And there you go. And then another one done. So I'm gonna now set a time lapse up and we'll keep this party going. got a fun little floral dresser and the handles are all on and the legs are painted it's really gonna be a cute piece I understand that it's most likely not for a lot of people but I've been doing a lot of neutral pieces and not been selling them the greatest so sometimes it's best to try a more creative piece this has to now sit so it will wait till tomorrow to be the base of it to all be sealed and then the bottom I will do and the handles. All right, everybody, we are gonna start clear coating this dresser now. That's what we'll be doing today. I also will be delivering a piece today, so I might not get as much taping as I want today. But let's go. I am 
supposed to be driving to the farm to deliver food right now. I forgot that I got this secretary yesterday and I gotta unload it because I don't wanna drive any more than I have to. Get this curved glass because that's just asking for some bad luck there. So here we go, trying to unload by myself again. out today so don't mind all the squinting I'm gonna go finish this dresser up now then I get to go make a parts run which I will probably end this video for that because I don't think you guys want to watch me go pick up parts for the farm because that's another job that I get to do a woman of many jobs all right so I actually am going to leave the knobs gold the original ones I'm gonna put those on and I decided I'm just going to clean up the feet and I'm gonna leave the wood color and the gold little bottoms. Let's get going with that. can see the ombre and the white flex the wood bottom with the gold love it well everyone that'll do it for me thank you for watching thanks for coming along let me know what you think of, of the transfer and the ombre if you like it if it's not your style no harm, no foul. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.